archive of Bernard Schottlander, mm -hmm. who did a lot of modernist public sculpture. So he was doing commissions for lots of different people, but this is kind of an expression of like what he wanted to do and all of these beautiful shapes. And it was all about shapes in the landscape mm -hmm. as well. Sculpture being part of the landscape and being part of people's lives and in public spaces. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time it was in new spaces, so places like Milton Keynes. There wasn't traditional sculpture there, so this was so open to mm. this modernist movement and these principles of, yeah, new forms and new shapes. And, wow. and just these shapes, these, yeah, they're beautiful. yeah, you know how it's so like natural yes. curves there, but then so harsh on these lines. What are the key modernist principles? Um, in cubits. First of all, I guess going back to your original point, which is like using like very functional kind of yes. objects. Like I guess spectacles just in themselves are quite functional yeah, in that nature, way, and like yeah. a beautifully designed product that is is built for function and is yeah. to be used every single day is quite a modernist kind yeah. of approach to something. So Definitely. so kind of by nature, I guess spectacles have that sort of sense of modernist yeah. design principle. Um, but it, but then I guess in in terms of how we design product, it's very much kind of. Um, like function yeah. instead of frill and so we don't necessarily see ourselves as like a fashion brand we see yeah. ourselves as a design brand and a, and a product yeah. which kind of marks us out quite differently from other yeah. spectacles brands like on the market now mm -hmm.